Hey there, I'm Ref Team. Welcome to Module 3 of the Diversity, Equity, Inclusion, and Belonging Awareness course. Today, we're diving into the wonderful world of building an inclusive culture. Because let's face it, who doesn't want to work in a place where everyone feels respected, valued, and heard? Let's talk about creating safe and inclusive spaces. Think of it like setting the stage for the perfect team performance. Everyone's got a role to play, but it's the culture we create that lets each person shine. When you create an inclusive space, it's like everyone's in sync, working together, solving problems, and giving their best. That's what we're aiming for at AMREF. In healthcare, this isn't just nice to have, it's a must have. It helps improve communication, trust, and ultimately, health outcomes. Now, how do we do this? Well, it starts with respect. Simple, right? Everyone's voice matters, no matter their role, background, or experience. And then there's trust, that magical ingredient that turns a group of individuals into a team. How do we build trust? Regular team building, open communication, and let's be real, sometimes a good old fashioned pizza party. Here's where you come in. We've got an exciting activity lined up. You're going to design your very own inclusion policy for your team. Think of this as your team's manual for fostering respect, trust, and safety. Don't worry, it's not as daunting as it sounds. Just focus on the needs of your workplace. What will make your team feel more connected and valued? Next up, let's talk about open dialogue. Communication is the secret sauce of inclusion. You've gotta keep those conversations flowing, especially in a multicultural team like ours at AMREF. And when things get sensitive, well, that's when empathy and active listening come into play. And remember, folks, it's not just about talking. It's about really listening. Like, I'm not just thinking about my lunch listening. Handling sensitive conversations in multicultural teams can be tricky. But here's a pro tip. Lead with empathy. Start by understanding where the other person is coming from, and you'll be amazed at how much smoother things go. Now, it's your turn to shine. Jump into our peer feedback forum and share your thoughts on how to handle sensitive conversations with empathy and respect. Then read what your peers have posted. Who knows, you might just learn a trick or two. And finally, let's talk about implementing policies that stick. It's one thing to create a policy, but making sure it's actually followed, that's where accountability comes in. You need clear, actionable policies that can be adapted as your team grows and changes. AMREF's own inclusion policies are great examples of this. Just look at how they've empowered women in rural health projects, leading to better outcomes for entire communities. In our final activity, you'll be drafting a comprehensive inclusion policy for your department. Make sure it's clear, actionable, and tailored to the specific needs of your team. Remember, this policy is your roadmap to creating a more inclusive environment. Here are the big takeaways for this module. Creating safe spaces where everyone feels valued is key to a productive team. Open dialogue and feedback foster trust and empathy. Implementing clear, flexible inclusion policies helps drive lasting change. Great work, everyone. Remember, building an inclusive culture isn't just something we talk about. It's something we live and breathe every day at AMREF. So go out there, start implementing what you've learned, and let's create a workplace where everyone feels like they belong. See you in the next module.